Around five years ago, I started to wake up in the middle of the night with my heart beating in a funny kind of way. I went to see my GP and she took a reading uh, on my heart and, and said I'd probably be suffering from something called atrial fibrillation. I was very thankful that that diagnosis had taken place early because at least I could then do something about it. I was in a situation that treatment could only start once I was taking warfarin. I couldn't take warfarin because I'm self-employed and travel around an awful lot. I couldn't go to a, a GP practice or a hospital for blood tests. My income would have gone down completely. All patients are individuals, no patient is the same. Uh, and therefore, uh, what suits one or many patients may not suit uh, other patients. I think it's very important that patients are, are kept fully informed of the, uh, of the choices and options that are available for them for treatment for AF, uh, because they're more likely to be adherent to the treatment if they're in agreement with it. It was my GP that told me about self-testing INR machines, and I'm so glad that she did that because that changed my life. I could start my treatment for atrial fibrillation and live the lifestyle that I wanted to. She said that I could take my own blood tests, uh, measure my own INR scores, and that does away with the need to go to uh, the GP surgery or to, or to hospital. So I bought a kit, I had lessons on how to use it, and I had to go to the local hospital once every six months to calibrate the readings to make sure that the readings from my own self-testing measured were the same as the readings from the hospital, and they always were, and it was fantastic. Not every patient can make it to a warfarin clinic to have their INR tested. So this gives a flexibility to a patient, allows them to remain on warfarin uh, and be safe on warfarin without them having to physically turn up in the, in the clinic on a regular basis. I think it's very, very, very important that patients should be involved with the treatment because there are so many options available. This journey is a very personal one and I don't know that a, a pre-described treatment works for everyone. Medical professionals have a, a responsibility to try to make the services uh, as available as possible. Where uh, flexibility is possible, uh, then it should be used. It's very important, therefore, for all health professionals to keep themselves up to date with the uh, NICE guidelines uh, regarding atrial fibrillation and stroke prevention. I have a normal active life. I can play sport. I go out walking with the dog. I have no medication whatsoever, no testing. Long may I be free from atrial fibrillation and I carry on an ordinary life.